Ugh. You guys smell that? It smells like generic content. Anyway, what's up guys? My name is Bryce, aka Dubs Not Subs, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, today I'm going to be covering all the manga I've been reading pretty much since I dipped out on the YouTube videos. There's not a whole bunch, but a lot of the series I've been reading, I've been reading all in continue, so I'm not going to grab every single book I have. I'm just going to talk about the series as a whole, but I do have a decent amount of stuff to talk about, and I'm really excited to get into it and cover all the stuff that I've been reading while I've been gone. So... Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Alright, let's kick this thing off. And starting off is the second volume of a series I've been reading called Your Turn to Die Majority Vote Game. Now, in all honesty, this is not anything that crazy. If you've seen a death game series before, that's what this is. But... I am kind of into death games at the moment, and with Squid Games being over, Alice in Borderland, and stuff like that really getting me more into it, uh, As the Gods Will Season 2 is just really, really made me want more. So I decided to end up checking something else out. Now, obviously, like me saying, it's not anything crazy. It doesn't blow anything out of the water, but it is a solid series in my opinion. It's fun. I really enjoy reading it. It's just another death game, but to be honest, I wasn't really looking for something to reinvent the wheel. I just kind of wanted something that was good and was going to scratch that itch, and it, this is doing it. It's fun. I need to catch up on it. There's more. I think Volume 3 is also out in... Uh, release too so I'm not exactly sure how far I'm behind on it but I do need to catch up on it and I'm enjoying what I'm reading so far I gotta get to volume 2 I've read volume 1 so far and it's just been a fun time it's just been a fun nice read arts good characters are kind of basic and it's pretty much it you know in death game you're gonna get a death game if that's what you want more of you're gonna like that one if you don't want more of that just don't just, just don't do it don't do it Next up, we have The Fox and the Little Tanuki. Now, this series is basically following this fox right here, Senzu and the little... Oh, crap, I can't remember what they're specifically called. Uh, tanuki. He's a Tanuki, I believe, and he's called Manpachi. Basically, he ends up becoming the guard for Manpachi and ends up having to raise him for the gods. And it's kind of a redemption arc kind of a thing. And the best way I can describe this series is basically a Ghibli and Disney movie combined. It is so good good i love it so much there's such a whimsical and warmth to this series it's so hopeful it's so fun i love the art and i just really really enjoy this series i wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as i did but this series is something special like legitimately i 100 percent if you like ghibli movies you like disney movies you like more of a kid friendly type of series something more heartwarming or even something different than the normal everyday shonen or seinen series this scratches that itch and does a great job at it it is absolutely amazing it really does do so so much well i cannot sing a lot like too many praises for it because i don't have enough time to do that and i'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear me get on my knees and go to town on this book so I'm not going to go off on it completely. All I'm going to say is I 100% recommend it. You like all your kind of stuff. And maybe if you want to secretly become a furry, this could be your little gateway into it. Because, man, it doesn't make you want to become a fox. It seems pretty dope to me. I want to get some cool superpowers as a dog and be able to shapeshift and stuff. It's a lot of fun. 100% recommend it. I really, really love it. And I think you guys will, too. All right, let's get into our next series, and that is Golden Camoy. Now, I've been reading a lot more than just Volume 25, just been catching up on all of it. Absolutely loving this series. Watching Ashirpa and Sugimoto go through this, so much fun. Finding this gold, this whole journey has been absolutely amazing. I do believe it is kind of wrapping down and coming towards the end, so... It kind of makes me a little bit sad for that to see that uh, they're going to find this golden eventually and it's kind of going to be over soon. I don't know if that's how many more this kind of like final little stretch is going to go, but it just seems like they're, he's getting to the point where we're way over the halfway point and it's kind of going down the roller coaster and we're going to get a little bit closer to the conclusion every single day and it's just closer than I want it to be, but I... This series just does so much right. The art is absolutely amazing. The scenery that it paints, the 
really cool stuff you get to learn about the Ainu and you get to hear all this cool food tip and like old Japanese kind of food making processes through the Ainu and how they do the traditions and how they make food the old Japanese gods where they or the nature kind of gods for the Ainu getting to see kind of like the not really political tension but you know it is a little bit of a kind of a political tension between Ishikada the oh crap whoever the, the leader of the seventh division is it's slipping my mind right now and then Sugimoto's party all trying to vie for this gold all in their own motives and reasons and all their own backstories to why they would even want it in the first place just super cool super special and honestly it's a fire it's a fire one it is ge genuinely just absolutely amazing next up we have zom 100 bucket list of the dead now this is one of my favorite series that came out in i believe it came out 2019 and it is just one of the best series that i'm reading at the moment my favorite series the second i get it i burn through these like instantly because man i cannot get enough i feel like when i get it if i don't finish it by the by the end of the day of getting it it is the end of the world and i have failed my bucket list of reading this series but overall man the art amazing the story even though it's just a zombie survival story such a good twist in it and like just here seeing akira and him and his goals and he's just such a lovable character watching him go and complete his bucket list and watching his friends that he makes along the way get this bucket list and do their own things see the kind of tensions and different kind of twists and stuff that come in the story especially the one that's in volume five right here and the twist that ends up going on with this it just really pulls you in and you just really want to see Akira accomplish his bucket list and get all the stuff he wants to do and just be happy. And it really is just like one of those series that ultimately the moral of the story is work isn't everything. You got to find the moments and the times where you can enjoy stuff for yourself and have that relaxing and have that peace and just fun. So you don't end up with all these regrets and needing a zombie apocalypse to do it so you can finally get the things you've always wanted to do done. But... I absolutely love that series, and I can't wait to read more. I think I think it's March when the next se next volume comes out for that. But next up, my favorite manga series of all time, Noragami Upside Down, Volume 23. Man, being off of YouTube has really screwed up my whole process. I'm gonna me I was messing up on pointing. I've been miss miss spooking i was just about to say miss speaking like a mofo and I do it while I'm oh the irony of my life, man. <laughs> but Noragami Volume 23, Achiji Koka nails it, hits it out of the park again. There is so much good stuff, and the, the story is just keeps getting better and better every time I read it. So much of the story is just, ah, uh, pulls me in. I love the world that this has created. I love watching Yato, Hiyori, Yukin, and all the stuff that's going on right now. Oh, sorry about that. I have a new puppy, so I'll show you her maybe in another video or maybe at the end of this video. I gotta fix this screen. This is all messed up. Hi! Hopefully I'm centered again. I, I hope so. I don't know if I am or not. Sorry. Just a guy with a broken mic at this point. Uh, yeah, I was playing Apex and uh, Rage got the best of me, if you know what I mean. And now he's missing a leg. He's kind of a paraplegic at the moment. Oh, no, that's the that's the paralyzed people. The, oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm really falling apart these days, man. I've not been on... I'm not on the up of the roller coaster right now. I think I'm on the downhill section of my life. But he's broken, much like my brain. So let's get on with this series before I finally end up giving out or my Windows 97 brain processing just b b shuts down. Next up, we're going for 20th Century Boys. This is my favorite series I'm reading at the moment right now. Absolutely amazing. So good, so good. There's been a huge twist and where I'm at right now, and that is in volume three of the Omnibuses. It's absolutely an amazing series. So much fun to read. One of the best sci-fis I'm reading at the moment, or of all time, the only one that rivals it for me is Dimension W, but a lot of that is subjective reasoning because it's the first sci-fi I ever watched or read, so I absolutely love that series, and it just holds a special place in my heart. But 20th Century Boys, absolutely amazing. Naoki Urasawa absolutely blows it out of the park. He blows my mind and is absolutely one of the best series that I have ever read the storylines are so good all the hints and like the twists and all the stuff that's going on and the foreshadowing and the callback everything just melts together perfectly into like one of the most perfectly written series I've ever seen in my entire life and I really once I get through 20th Century Boys I'm gonna be going to monster next because this just shows me that I need to get this stuff and I need to read all the stuff that Naoki Urasawa has to offer absolutely an amazing series i love it so much and i have two more titles and then we'll wrap up this video
So first off, it is not really a manga, but the One Piece cookbook came out. I've been getting into more into cooking, and I decided to cop this thing and check out some of the recipes in it. There's a lot of cool recipes. It's really cool. I love that every single one is in the manga in some way, and it shows you where it's referenced inside the manga when it shows what the recipe is and what it's called. It's really cool. I'm absolutely loving it, and it's super cool, and I can't wait to make more stuff with it. But last up is berserk volume 7 by kento mira now what can i say that's not already been said about this book that people like to praise and love to talk about man it, it, it is the perfect series it's absolutely amazing watching guts go on this journey of self-discovery and do all the things he's done it's just perfect in every way i love this series so much I, there's just not enough that i can say that's amazing about it literally one of the best and most well-written series of all time it's such a shame that he passed away and we can't get any more of this series but he was a genius kinto mira was an absolute amazing man who created a masterpiece of a series and even without an ending i'm sure i'm gonna absolutely love what i can have from it and i am just so happy that we're even blessed to read any part of this series and get to experience any part of that man's brain because whatever was going on up there is something that I don't think will ever be replicated in manga again because this series is something that is unlike anything else and one of the most pristine and perfect things that has ever been created in all of manga and anime and any medium in history in my opinion it is absolutely an amazing series but that's pretty much all I have to say about Berserk that's kind of everything I've been reading though guys what do you guys think about what I've been reading you think I've been reading a lot of trash most likely because I've been uh, known for not reading the best of series, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you let, let me know, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of what I've read. Let me know if there's any series you guys want me to check out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in another video.